Hey guys, so just as promised, I'm back with a DIY and today I'm gonna be working with a men's shirt. So how I got all the patterns to create this shirt is that I started by drawing out the shirt and drawing out all the pieces that I needed for this shirt. And then I based myself off of very similar shirts to draw out and cut out all of the pieces of the pattern. So, as you can see, this piece is the front left piece and the front right piece. And this, the back would be exactly the same, but just like two pieces together. And then you have the two sides of the ribs. And you need four of those. And lastly, you will need four pieces of the sleeves. Now, if I lay down all the pieces together, it should look like this. We're gonna start off by sewing these two pieces together. I don't know how they're called, but I hope you can understand what I mean. So just sew them right sides together. And this is a bit tricky because um the rib piece is like rounded and curved so you're gonna have to pin it's better if you pin them all down first and then you sew and then you're gonna take the two main pieces the front and the back and sew the shoulders together As for the sleeves, it's always the same thing. So you're just gonna sew like the top part, but not the bottom, not the like armpit hole. Okay. So after you after you've sewn those pieces together, it should look like this when you turn it um, inside out. And you can sew down again the two um, rib side just to make it like to create a clean cut and now we're gonna sew the sleeve to the top so here this is a bit tricky again because it's really curved so you should use some pins to pin down to make it easier when you sew Okay, and then you can sew the armpit hole and the slide of Okay, so the top is like basically there, but we want to achieve this clean cut edges, so we're gonna add some lining. And that's really optional, you can just hem all the, the edges, but I really like doing the lining, I don't know. So I'm gonna do that. So I don't know what's the proper way of doing lining, but I just like cut out basically all the same pieces, but I guess shorter. And I just have to cover all the edges with those pieces. And then I sew them down and then I flip them um, inside out. So as you can see, I'm covering all the edges and I'm sewing like a half an inch. And then when you flip all the lining inside out, it should create this really clean cut edges. So here I'm just like using a pencil to really create this clean cut I keep repeating these words I don't know I, I should really get to know my sewing vocabulary don't worry guys I'm going to fashion school next year so I'm gonna be better at communicating and explaining my tutorials so 
So then after you sew everything down, it should look like this and it's very clean, very pretty. And the last step is just sewing down the buttons. So um, I'm taking the same buttons from the original shirt that I removed at the beginning. And I believe that I, that I added four buttons. And that was perfect to close the shirt. So here's the final result. I hope you like it. It looks pretty much like the IMGA shirt and I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye!